Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the key differences between a blog and a portfolio in Squarespace 7.1. I want to make sure you're going to create the right type of collection page for the website that you're creating. Now I've got a couple of slides to show you to explain the differences, and then we're going to hop into my demo site and I'll show you how to set up each one. Okay, let's get started. Both blogs and portfolios are what's known as a collection page. Store and events are also collection pages as well. It's one main collection of items that's displayed on a collection page. Uh, for store, it's individual products. Events collect single events inside that big list of events. Blogs are a collection of blog posts. And portfolios are a collection of projects. Now all collection pages have a nested URL structure. That's yourwebsite.com forward slash blog forward slash post or yourwebsite.com forward slash store forward slash product one for an example. Now collection pages can do a really cool thing in 7.1. While you have the list of collections that's displayed on that main page, like your storefront or your blog page, every single item is displayed in that list, but you can add page sections both above and below the collection display. When we hop into my demo site, I'll show you how to do that. It's super easy and makes it really customizable on that collection page. Now, both blogs and projects are unique collection pages because they have built-in pagination that's automatically created previous and next links to help people navigate through additional content inside that collection. Pretty cool, right? Now, there are also some key differences here between blogs and portfolios, and that's probably why you're watching this video. So blogs, you can add categories and tags that helps organize the content of your collection. So again, users can easily navigate to related content by clicking on a category or a tag. This also lets you do things like display an archive block that lists just blog posts in that category. For example, that's something I do on my own website at inside the square.co forward slash mobile. You'll see a list of all of my mobile specific tutorials. They're all in the same blog with all of my other tutorials, but I can show just the blog posts in that category by using that particular type of content block in Squarespace. All right, back to the differences here. Blogs can also have comments. Blogs can also be scheduled in advance and they have author profiles that is unique to blogs alone in Squarespace 7.1. Now blogs have pagination, that nested URL structure we talked about. They also have specific SEO for the individual post, which I think is really cool. Projects can do that too. And then of course their collection page, which we already talked about. So those are the main things that you can think about when creating a blog. You've got categories and tags, comments, scheduling, and author profiles, and then pagination, nested URL structure, page specific SEO or post specific SEO, and they are a collection page or they're a part of a collection page. Now projects are different because you get more layout options. Projects are made up of page sections with blog posts. You have just one main block of content for that blog. You don't get to add page sections above or below on an individual post page that is specific for projects. However, Projects don't have categories or tags. They don't have comments. You can't schedule them in advance and you can't create an author profile. They do have pagination, nested URL structure, page or project specific SEO, and they're a part of a collection page. So you get a list of all the projects, but again, no categories or tags, no comments, no scheduling and no author profiles. Hopefully this Venn diagram on the screen here helps explain that a little bit more so you can decide which one is the right one for your website. If you want to have a lot more flexibility with the layout, go with projects. But if you have a lot of content and you want to organize it for your users by categories or tags, or you want to make sure you manage comments, or maybe you're like me and you create consistent content and you want to schedule it in advance, you need to create a blog instead of a project. Now let's go ahead and hop into my demo site because I want to show you exactly how to add page sections to that collection page, both above and below the list. And then I'll also show you the big difference between blogs and projects when it comes to layouts. you ready. Let's hop in. Alrighty. So here we are in just an empty demo site. It just has some random content in here. I'm going to hop into my pages menu and then we'll just add these to the not linked section. I'm going to click this plus sign and let's go ahead and start with the blog. Now in 7.1, no matter what layout you start with, you can always change it later. So just grab one so we can get going here. There we go. Alrighty. So I'm going to hop into edit mode 
So you can see inside this blog, I have these individual posts. If I click on these three dots right here, I can open up the settings for that post. And this is where we'll find things like the status, whether or not it's published, scheduled, needs review, all that fun stuff. This is where you can schedule it in advance. We have other options like adding an individual thumbnail. This is where you would edit the URL for it. And we have an excerpt down here at the bottom. I do wanna mention really quickly, I do have a training on how to set up a blog in Squarespace 7.1 that'll walk you through all of these details step by super simple step. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash blog for a link to that training. And I'll also link to it in the description below. It's totally free and it breaks down all of this setup for a blog a lot slower than I'm doing in this particular particular presentation about blogs versus portfolios. Okay, cool. All right, back to my demo site. We also have an SEO tab here. Again, we can do SEO specific for the blog post, which is cool. Social share image. And anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit close because the thing I want to show you is hopping into edit mode here. We can actually add a page section above and below the collection. So I'm just going to click this empty one right here. So you can see inside a blog collection page, you can have content both above and below. Let's add a section below. There we go. Both above and below the collection page. Now here are all of the blog posts. Now, if I go ahead and select save, let's hop into an individual post so you can see what the difference is here. It's going to load. There we go. Let's hop into an individual post. And if I go into edit mode here, you'll notice I no longer have the ability to add sections. All the content of my blog is in this one section here. I can't put anything above it or anything below it. Now inside the blog post itself, I can click this plus sign to add any type of content block that I want, but I don't have page sections. Projects inside portfolios are different. I'm going to select done. We'll hop out of here and I'm going to click this plus sign and we'll create a portfolio of projects. Again, start with any of them. I'm going to start with this one right here. And if I hop into edit mode, you'll see we have our collection over here on the left. If I hop into edit mode, again, I can add sections above or below. This is our collection of projects right here. I can add a section above or below this collection of projects. Selecting done, we can hop into an individual project. And inside an individual project in edit mode, again, I can add sections above and below basically the entire thing. It's totally different layout than a blog post. All kinds of flexibility with the design. Now, just like blog posts, if I click on these three dots right here and select settings, we'll have options for SEO. And under the general tab, we can change the thumbnail image and the URL structure. Now, this is a bit different than a blog setup, and I do have a separate training for this as well. If you want to go through all the details to learn how to create a portfolio with different projects in it, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash portfolio for a link to that free training. But for this overview, that's the main difference there. We can add page sections to individual projects not individual blog posts, but on both collection pages for this entire portfolio and for this entire blog, you can add page sections above and below the collection display. Alrighty, there you go. The high level overview between blogs and portfolios of projects in Squarespace 7.1. Now let me know in the comments below, which one are you going to use on your own website? Are you going to create a portfolio of projects with pagination? How's that for alliteration? Or are you going to create a really awesome blog that has a bunch of cool posts inside of it? Let me know which one you decided to go with and why. I'm really curious about which features you were most excited about to create for your own website needs. Alrighty, I'll go ahead and hop off for now, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.